First of all, um, let's talk about Butler a little bit. Um, you know, Thad's done a really good job everywhere he's been. And um, we beat a good Butler team. Um, they're going to continue to grow. They're going to continue to get better. Um, I thought we played extremely hard. Uh, and I only say that because that's part of our culture of playing hard, but we were able to do it on day three. And that says a lot about this team. Um, you know, just uh, a, few, a few nuggets. Um, I thought the young guys came in and played well, gave us great minutes and Breon Pass and LJ and Ernest Ross. And then I thought our veterans um, took us over the hump. Um, these two guys were really, really good. And we've been led all weekend and really all year by to Quavion and Jarkel, and when they didn't have a huge scoring night, I thought they found other ways to affect the game. When you look at to he had five assists and one turnover, and I think they all played on the defensive end. So proud of my team. Um, great tournament, as always has been. You know, you're fortunate if you can get out of here, um, you know, with one win, two is great, and then three is over the top. And so I'm excited about our, our team as we continue to grow, and we'll continue to work and get better. Watch hey, Kevin, not too much uh, earlier tonight, Bill mentioned, Bill Self mentioned that you guys in his eyes were a tournament team. Do you see that in your own program and also looking at Kansas? What do you think they are at uh, at this point in the season? I, I love our team. You know, I, I, it's not up to me to, you know, I try not to look that far around. Bill can say that I appreciate him saying that and I hope it comes true for us. We're just going to continue to work. And, you know, my, my job with these guys is to get them locked in into the next game. Uh, I do think Kansas is a tournament team. I do think Kansas is a, a national contender, a national championship contender. They got a little bit of everything. And obviously, you know, they've got the culture. They got good players. But I do appreciate Bill saying that. And I do think our team works hard and we're going to continue to get better. But, you know, I, I've learned just to lock in and be positive and, you know, take it one game at a time. And that's what we'll do. I know, you know, every team, you know, playing three games in three days is going to get tired to an extent. But when you're looking at Butler as shorthanded as they were with injuries, could you tell even more with them because of that? Well, everybody's dangerous. Uh, you know, I, I, I think what sparked me today was I watched Dayton, you know, and BYU, and it was a 23-point lead, and the lead got erased. And so we're all playing on tired legs. And, you know, if you can find a way to get through this, you know, one of the blessings, even though we didn't want to lose to Kansas, one of the good things about it was we were able to play a 10 o'clock game tonight and we got a little rest. Um, but, you know, it's just it's a it's a great tournament because it prepares you for ACC. It prepares you for your conference tournament. But it's tough because you got to play three really good teams back to back to back. And then last for me, Manny Bates obviously played for you for a while. What was it like seeing him again? going up against him. Yeah, I'm proud of Manny. I mean, Manny's a tremendous kid. He had, obviously at NC State, he had some unfortunate injuries that um, obviously, um, you know, slowed him down a little bit, but he's a great kid. He's a really good basketball player. For both players, kind of curious, what's your takeaway from three days here with two wins and, and the loss you had was to the final minute against reigning national champs? I would say that we had a really good tournament, like Coach said, um, play Kansas really close. Um, obviously, the whole team was really hyped to play Kansas, and uh, I had a feeling that we played well, you know, came up short, a couple of points. But um, me personally, I, I'm really happy with how we played this tournament, you know, coming out of two and one and going back uh, home, it's a success. Um, I have a feeling me personally and my whole team, we grow through this tournament and we kind of know um, how to play with each other better. Um, me and the guys are connected on and off the court on a very high level. So us being connected like that really helps us play on the court together, all in one. So all the, these three days playing Kansas close, uh, getting one over day and then now today Butler is really good for us and a good test for us later on when we play in the ACC play. So it's definitely good. Hey guys, this is for both players. This is Corey Smith with Pack Pride. I wanted to uh, ask both of you. I mean, obviously you come away from this one with with some big wins, but how prepared do you feel like you are now for uh, what comes next? Because ACC play starts in just less than or just over a week from now. 
uh, as well as you know the, the grind of, of what comes in the ACC in the near future? Um, playing down here for three straight days, really prepared as well for ACC play. Um, of course, we definitely have some work to do still, uh, tighten, thing, tighten things up, but this definitely helped us and is definitely going to prepare us for ACC play coming up. And Corey, we're just impressed that you're back home and that you're still up, so. Yeah, that's fine. See you guys. Kevin, you talked a little bit about, you know, there's going to be a lot of change with this roster. The turnover, uh, the transfers allowing you to retool a little bit. You played fast. You scored off turnovers. You had five players in double figures today. Kind of what was – I imagine you feel really positive coming out of the tournament as far as a foundation for this particular group. Yeah, I love um, I love the team that we put together. Um, I think we we hit it really good with the transfer portal and not so much that we got good players, we got good people. And they also uh, have connected off the court. You know, one of the things I think that really helped us was being able to take a trip to Bahamas in August. And, you know, it was able to grow as a team. Every coach's challenge when you have so many transfers is try to figure out how to develop chemistry early. Um, I think we're a little ahead of the curve. We still have a long ways to go in a lot of areas, but we've grown over the last two weeks. The other thing I wanted to ask you was you, you've lost the Kansas game on day one, and that's a game that, you know, you, you guys will circle, you know, a little bit. They can't help but do it. But you came back the next two days and, you know, won games where you, you got control of them and stayed out front. I would imagine that's probably a positive for you in terms of focus after, especially when you're in a three days, three game kind of scenario. Yeah, I, I think the biggest focus is you see the defending national champions in Kansas and you play them tough enough to win and you don't win the game, you know, will there be a letdown the next couple of days? And I didn't think we did. I thought we, you know, we bounced back and beat two good teams by double digits and um, two good programs. And so I learned a lot about my guys, how we respond. Sometimes it's better to learn a lesson through a win. We learn a couple of lessons through that loss at Kansas and we build on it. Hey, Kevin, uh, congrats on the win. I just wanted to ask you about your offense. I know coming into the year, you talked about um, how well you guys were shooting the three this year, and that was going to be a strength. This tournament, you really haven't shot it well, but you've been efficient offensively. Can you just evaluate overall your, your half-court play and just the way you've played offense through this tournament? Well, some of that has to do with, um, you know, just playing, you know, guys a lot of minutes and playing three days in a row. Um, but we also have two very efficient post guys. If you look up their stats, they can score the ball. And so, you know, DJ Burns has had a good two days where he was really unstoppable in the post. I thought he did some really good things. And so a lot of it was I wanted to, late in games, kind of play through our post guys. And we talked about getting more paint touches instead of settling for threes. When you look at tonight, I think we typically would take anywhere from 25 to 35 three-pointers. We only took 15, and a lot of them because we wanted to establish our post guys. You know, our post guys tonight took 21 shots. Yeah, Kevin, um, I had a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, you guys had went uh, maybe five minutes or so without a field goal, and then Clark hits the three. Uh, how big was that to kind of give you guys a little more breathing room uh, towards the home stretch? Yeah, I, you know, I, I thought I'm, I'm so grateful that he made the, sh uh, the shot. I thought the, the willingness to make the pass was the biggest one because of tendencies when you, you know, when you go through scoring routes, you know, everybody wants to step up and take the big shot. I thought the pass was just as good as the shot, but it was very important at the time. And, you know, we I didn't, I won't say we got a little tight, um, but we relied on our defense a little bit. We got a little reckless with the basketball. And once we got, a comp got our composure, we were able to make some plays. Thank you, sir. My second question is, is regards to the three day games in three days. Obviously, you're preparing for the ACC, but towards the back end in March, you're going to, if you want to make a deep run, you have to have that type of stamina to compete back to back. Did you like what you saw from your guys in terms of how they, not just the game itself, but how they handled themselves in the off, in the build up to the games? I love it. You know, we were, 
our guys conducted themselves as professionals. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, I could, we can make an argument that we played really hard for three nights, and that's hard to do. And, you know, I, I love what our guys are building. Um, you know, they're starting to coach each other. They're starting to, you know, reward each other. And I think that's big. And, you know, it's going to help just because you know that you're capable of doing that. And, you know, we used our bench a little bit more tonight than we did in the first couple of games. And I thought that those guys really came in and made the impact for us, a positive impact. Kevin, wanted to ask you about the uh, the efficiency in scoring as well. You had five different guys finish with double digit points in this one, uh, led by Jarkel Joyner, who, as you said, didn't have his best shooting night. But just your thoughts on how good this offense is from from top to bottom, and having multiple guys that can lead you on any given night. Yeah, it's it's you know we can have balanced scoring. I think everybody knows that we've got a really good um, set of guards. And then you, obviously I include Casey and that that have been leading us in scoring all year long. Um, but, you know, we wanted to do a better job. Uh, we've got some bigs that can really score the ball. And I think our guys are starting to understand that and getting them in positions. You know, it took a while for us to realize um, that, you know, even though we love to run a lot of ball screens, we got to roll those guys into the post and make sure we play off of them. You know, also the bigs are willing passers. I mean, you look at DJ made a couple of backdoor passes and, I thought Deshaun was very effective. And so it, it's really, really balanced when you do have guards scoring and your post guys can score also.